Hi everybody, it's Wednesday, May 6th. My name is Scott, and this is Relevantly Speaking. Hi everyone, welcome to the show. Lately, the internet's been abuzz with companies and celebrities jumping all over the use of social media. Oprah is the latest in a long line, and I have to be honest, she's doing it right. First off, she's actually tweeting herself. I've seen countless companies and celebrities sign up for Twitter only to hand it off to an intern or an assistant. Second, she's using a mixture of business promotion and personal disclosure. She's savvy enough to get people to take the action she wants them to, but genuine enough that people feel like she's more than a corporate shill. This got me thinking. Oprah's one of the few that gets it, but most companies end up failing miserably. So I turned to a panel of experts for their thoughts and asked them what they thought the most important steps are in building communities through social media tools. What's worked best for me is, is to follow a lot of people, um, be active in the community, talk to people, um, add a lot of value and just get engaged. <laughs> thing is to be authentic and be yourself and uh, you know you have to use that value in everything you do in the social media space uh, in terms of building your brand on Twitter the other thing is to, and, and Facebook is to jump in you know so you don't hesitate uh, you need to really get out there and start interacting with the community and building re your reputation and relationships with other folks in that in that are on those uh, platforms I think one of the most important steps that someone can take to build their community is have the blog at the center of their social media sphere. So the, anything that they promote, the blog is the hub and everything else is the spoke. So Facebook's a spoke, Twitter's a spoke, friend feeds a spoke, and it all points into what you're doing in your blog. And one of um, in addition to having all of these social media outlets point into your blog, it's really important to take your blog and bring other people into the conversation and not just use it as a pulpit to spread your message or your marketing um, communication strategy. You really want to include the thought leaders in the space, talk to them, engage with them, challenge them, make their points better. Um, sometimes you're wrong, sometimes they're right, but all of it is engaging in the conversation that exists already. Too many times I see people try to start a conversation and there's already thought leaders talking about that same conversation and it, you can join in you don't have to start and build something from scratch um, I mean in my experience the more that you put out the more that you get back so you'll see a lot of brands that are on Twitter well what does that mean how are they engaging with their community what are they using Twitter to do and how much are they really putting into it and the ones who really commit and, and dedicate themselves to being in the space in an authentic way I think those are the folks who are really gonna get stuff back if you follow our blog, you know that we've been covering California Assembly Bill 178. Media Trust CEO Peter Bordas has been especially vigilant in getting the word out. While we may have won a short reprieve, the bill won't be heard until at least January. Now, this doesn't mean the issue's gone away. It just means we've bought ourselves a bit more time. We'll, of course, keep you posted on the issue. Our field reporter, Atai Paz of Aphilicon, continues his endless travel around the globe. This week, he checks in from the Berlin Wall in Germany. Itai? I'm in Berlin, Germany. Behind me, you can see the Wall of Berlin. There's been a few busy days here for me in uh, Berlin, and it was very, very interesting. I think uh, Germany is a very, very, very interesting thing or a place for you to be at for two main reasons. One is you can actually find here lots of affiliates. They're doing international work. Big affiliates are located in Germany. And more so, you can actually find here merchants offers different aspects of affiliate marketing here into your network, into your uh, operation. Uh, it's very, very good location for that. The second reason for it to be very important to be in Germany is that it is a gateway for Europe. Germany is basically right in the center 
or what you can call the east side of the west of Europe and it's a good gateway if you want to have a presence in Europe if you're affiliate or if you're a merchant or a network it's good for you to understand this market because it's, it, it is the bridge for you into Europe reporting from Berlin the wall Germany in Taipas a telecom thanks to Ty try and stay out of the wind my friend Wow crazy windy. If you have a minute, don't forget to check out affilicon.com. There's still time to register for the event, which takes place in Israel June 1st and 2nd. Finally, we're ready to announce the winners of James Conner's book, The Perfection of Marketing. They are Mike Powell, Edward O'Meara, Josh Smith, Sandy Lawrence, Mike Barish, and Colin DeRook. Thanks to everybody that left a comment and participated in the discussion. Also, a special thanks to James Connors' team for putting together this really cool giveaway. That's our show for this week. Thanks for taking the time to watch. My name is Scott, and I hope to see you next week. Happy Mother's Day, Mom.